Uh, hi, I'm uh, Jeff Laubenstein. I'm a Magic the Gallery Gathering illustrator as well as a role-playing games illustrator. I've been working off and on since the mid-80s and when Magic the Gathering was coming together in 92 or so, Jesper uh, came and asked myself and the rest of the guys at FASA because we were already working in the role-playing industry if we'd like to work on this brand new card game that was coming out. And uh, our boss thought it was a competition, so said no. But three or four later, years later, he relented and Jesper gave me cards for the remainder of the time he was there. And he gave me some good ones. Um, Show and Tell and Recurring Nightmare are probably the two most prominent cards I did. Show and Tell was simply I need a kid in a classroom with a box of tentacles. That's what I painted. All the silly people around it and stuff, that's, that's me having fun and goofing around a little bit. I enjoyed adding uh, visual narratives to the pictures. We had all sorts of freedom. Um, so my picture of the guy with the box of tentacles also has Kabuki guy and a, a cactus with weird blue knobs all over it. and Just, just silly elements that I thought were fun and playful. Uh, recurring Nightmare was literally just a guy having a bad dream. That was the art description, a guy having a bad dream. Um, I did three versions of it. The guy laying down was, a consist was the consistent element in all three. Um, but there's a version with three little stumpy aliens behind it. And there's the version with the eyeballs and teeth. And when Jesper saw that, that was the one that they went with. For the most part, the first idea was the one that people liked. And that was the composition that was painted. Um, if you go through my sketchbooks, it's finished magic composition after finished magic composition, one after another after another. They were all one-shot drawings, and for whatever reason, maybe it was all the freedom, um, but the ideas came together quickly, easily, and they were super fun to draw. Uh, I was I was grateful then, and 25 years well, yeah, 25 years later, pretty much, I'm able to travel all over the planet and meet people whose lives included those couple of little cards that I painted. Um, I hear, yesterday I heard, I've had this card since I was eight. Um, and it happened to be Vine Dryad. Vine Dryad was in Mercadian Masks. It's the last card I painted for Magic. Um, it got painted in Germany. I was a guest through role-playing games uh, of an event called Spiel. It's a big board game convention in Germany. And I literally brought the painting with me painted it at the table as people were coming up and having things signed, and then I mailed it from London to get it to, uh, to, to Watsi. And uh, people ask me all the time, what's your favorite piece? Um, the thing of it is, I enjoyed all the work. Um, I didn't have too many at any time, so I was swamped or overworked. I did these as a side project. I was already working full-time as an artist. Um, but there was... They were so playful, so imaginative. I had so much fun doing each piece that they're all kind of special to me for different ways. There are little secret Easter eggs, if you will, that I added into the compositions because I could. And I thought, when I, as an illustrator, when I draw, I want to tell the story beyond what's on the page. I want to suggest a bigger uh, picture, a bigger narrative, a bigger world. And in some of my better pieces, I think that's what happens. I think that happens in a lot of the magic pieces. It's suggesting a bigger world. Um, and it's been a, a, tr a treat, a pleasure to be a part of this. And, and I'm, I'm grateful every day.